Live from the woods of the forest, Smart Village, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, let's go, everybody. Be the first Smurf to reach home with four different food baskets. Big fun with your little blue pals in an exciting three-dimensional game. In this episode... Yet another, the smart game, the smart game, the three-dimensional game, the board game. Quick, to the board game room. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's the smart game, the, the three-dimensional board game. All right, so now in this game, you're going to get... Um, these four play markers here. I don't know which Smurfs they are, but they're just three Smurfs, three male Smurfs. Then you got in the back there, Smurfette. And the Smurf Village in the back there, too. And all the Smurfs. And they're so cute dancing and stuff and having a party. And that's their home. That's where they live. Okay. And that's, you get a die here. Okay. And you're going to get um, all these three dimensional parts. You get the bridge area. The Smurf Village, the mountain area, the forest, and these two hills, whatever. And you're gonna get dun 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 Azrael. Okay. And this game is a mix between the Gumby three dimensional board game that I have and um the other game uh, that I have, uh Ewoks Save the Trees board game. Yeah, it's got the uh, the dials in here, and I'll tell you what you need to do with that. Now you have to go. The idea, the object of the game is go around collecting a food token of each kind. So you're gonna get a basket of apples, acorns, strawberries, and flowers or grapes. Grapes, yeah, they grapes. So you get the Smurf game. Okay, a lose food basket spots around. So beware, watch out for those. Um, you're going to get, uh, to give Azriel, you got to surrender one of your tokens. If you land on, if you, if you land here and Azriel gets moved under you from right underneath your feet, then you got to give him a food token and you lose a turn or you got to start at home. I don't know. We'll find out in this exciting episode. Okay. So. <clears throat> Nice, cool 3D board game. Really cool. So, I I thought it was nice looking, you know. So, I picked it up. Got it. Yeah, I was online for cheap. So, I'm like, yeah, whatever. So, I thought it looked interesting. But, um... Yeah, so, you're going to get... Okay, so you're going to get this board here. Really cool looking board. And uh, that's basically it. So um, the object of the game is collect four different food baskets and be the first player to return home with them. Okay. So now you're going to set the game up like this. It's really easy. Just put the cardboard in the back of the uh, you know uh, box there, whatever. And then fold these up and put them in. That's all. It it they have letters to guide you to match the letters and stuff like G E, you know. Anyway, so um now each player will die. High roller goes first, play continues clockwise. Uh on your move, you have the choice of doing either the following. Toss the die and move your player along the path the number of spaces indicated in the die. Or you can advance one of the two large wheels here. Uh, one space counterclockwise. So you can either move, like let's say for example, I roll a five. So I would go one, two, three, four, five. I can't go here because the cat's blocking me. So I can go here instead. You get it? Okay. 
So, um, now I can advance, or I, I, I can advance one, and then so I get the cat out of the way. Now I got him out of the way. See that? So now he's out of the way because I, I spun one. But he's not there. He's there now again. So it's really challenging. That's the challenge of the game. But now hear this out now. Cool. So now where you can move. You can move your your player along the path by um you know the count on the die to the food area circles. Okay. Food area circles. Or um you know, you, you and, and you must collect one disc from each area and return home. First with them in order to win the game, okay? So, <laughs> I, I screwed that up. I sound like a freaking robot. Uh, a robot. Sound like a robot. Um, yeah, so what you gotta do basically is go around the board finding these tokens, okay? You gotta go to these areas with these tokens. Oh, man. So, um... You must collect one disc from each area and return home first with them in order to win the game. Notice there are eight discs in each food area circle. Okay, so there's eight eight discs that you be uh yeah grab from, and uh, there's the circle areas. Okay, you do not have to enter these areas by exact count. When you do enter a food area circle, take one food basket disc and wait there until your next turn to move. Here's a strategy hint. During the course of play, you may lose one or two of your food basket discs. So, it may be to your advantage to, to leave the food area circle with one disc on one turn and re-enter the same circle on your next turn to get another disc of the same kind. This way, if you're forced into giving up a disc, you may su surrender your duplicate disc. Remember, you must bring back four different food token food basket discs to the home space first to win the game okay so um the 12 cat holes okay you got cat holes here Azrael's gonna pop out and and try to grab your food okay and he basically he's, he's gonna roll up on you so now uh so you're gonna uh, have to deal with him now like this so you're gonna look at the game board the 12 circular holes in the path are where Azriel the cat appears and disappears. If there's a cat in a hole in front of your path, you cannot cross over the cat and must do either one of the following. Toss the die and reroute your path um, back along the path, you know, your player along the path and away from the cat. So, for example, you're blocked, so now you gotta go around here and go there and reroute, reconnoiter, okay? Or... Okay, so you must move your player the full count of die uh, toss. Your player is always free to move either forward or along the path or backward along the path as long as there is no cat in the way, okay? Or turn either wheel one space counterclockwise, okay? Counterclockwise, so. All right, so now there's no cat, all right? So, um, now, if there's no cat in a hole in the front of your path, Merely count this hole as a regular path space to either land on or pass over depending on your die toss, okay? The wheels, okay? So now, um, the two large wheels control the appearance and disappearance of the cat Azrael from the 12 cat holes in the path. Um, the, <laughs> the, uh, what do you call it? Um, to operate the wheels correctly, put your finger... Into the oval slot, okay? And you're gonna advance the wheel, you know, one space. See how he popped out? Okay. So, um, uh, and advance the wheel one space counterclockwise. When you do this, one of the following will happen, okay? The cat disappears from the particular hole that you want him to scat from, or the cat disappears from the particular hole you wanted to scat from, but another cat appears 
uh, in in the in that place instead in his place whatever. So like what happened before with this, you know. So once that moves it like that, and uh oh, you know, you got a lot of cats there. So uh, you have to fire them. So um, what do you call it? Um. So once you once you turn a wheel, your turn is over. Remember, on your turn, you either turn a wheel or toss the die. You cannot do both. What happens when a cat lands on you? Well, if a cat lands on you, your player's in a cat-free cat hole, and an opponent turns the wheel. So a cat-free cat hole, your opponent turns the wheel. Now there's a cat on you. See? Uh-oh, it's Azrael. So what you gotta do now is this. Um, you lose a food token. You're penalized, okay? So if, if your player is in a cat free cat hole and an opponent turns the wheel so a cat appears in your cat hole out from under your feet, you're penalized and you lose a food token and uh, you got to return any disc that you have to its matching food area circle. And if you don't have a disc to give up, then you must return your player back to the home space and start all the way over again. Go wee 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 all the way home. Okay? And, uh, that's basically with that. Now, lose food basket spaces. Um, if you land on a space labeled lose food basket space, okay, then, uh, here's what happens. Uh, you must return any one of your food basket discs to its matching food area circle. And if you don't have a disc to give up, then you must re return your player back to the home space. And you gotta go... Wee, 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 all the way home. Okay. So now, the home space. This is the start space for all of the, the players. During the game, if you're penalized a food basket disc and do not have one, you must return your player uh, marker to the home space. When playing, count the home space as a regular path space. So you're just going to be going around like one, two, three, or one, two, three, you know. That's all. Okay, so now um, two or more players cannot be on the same space at the same time. So if you land on a space occupied by another player, advance your player to the next open space on the path. If a cat is in that next open space, well, guess what? You cannot pass over a cat. So you must reroute your player and move it in another direction along the path the full count of the die okay so um all right if, if your player has a cat in front of it and a cat behind it you cannot toss a die at all in your turn so instead what you're going to do is that you're forced into turning one wheel one space counterclockwise it is possible that after you've thrown a die you might find yourself blocked by cats in both directions. So if this happens, you're not allowed to turn a wheel since you have already tossed a die. But instead, you lose your turn and do not move at all. Okay, that sucks. Alright, so now, um, strategy hint. On your turn, it, it is sometimes to your advantage to turn the wheel and try to make a cat appear to either pounce on an opponent or to reroute an opponent. How to win the game. Be the first player to reach home with four different food baskets and you win the game. Exact count is needed to enter the home space to, for a win. So you might have to try to move your player backwards and forwards on the path several turns before you, you toss the exact die count. And that's the Smurf game. The 3D action board game. Now let's see what I think about the game. Alright, so. Final thought. Now, what do I do with this game? Wow, 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 wow. I like it. It's cool. It's fun. I was looking for Smurf games, you know. I got Smurf Spin Around coming up. Uh, I don't know when, when it comes when it comes in the mail. I was thinking about next video, but uh, apparently not because it's not in the mail yet. But I'll get it soon. All in good time. No need to rush me. So, now, you're going to get to... um. Go around the board in this game, which is pretty cool, and just take any path that you want to get any 
fruit basket you want in any order. So there's a little bit of strategy in here. You know, you use strategic tactics. Only the finest of strategic tactics in the Smurf game. The three-dimensional board game. So now, you just roll a die and move along the board. It's cool. I like um, that they give you a chance to either do two things. You can roll a dice, roll, roll the die and move the amount of uh, pips on a die. Or um, you could just turn the, uh, you know, um, the wheel one space counterclockwise. Uh, you could actually mess up a, an opponent, you know, by, um, turning the, the, uh, the, the wheel around and, uh, trying to have them land on a cat or a cat land on them because you could block them with the cat. You can get blocked yourself by the cat and, or, you know, you, you, uh, anybody lands on a cat, the cat comes up from underneath their feet then they got to return a food token of any kind they want back to the matching food token circle area. So, that's basically it. You're just collecting the four, one of each food token baskets. And then go way, way back home and that's it. Go wee, wee, wee all the way home. And that's that. So, it's a cool game. I like it. I saw it, you know, it was pretty cheap. So, you know, I thought I'd pick it up and uh, order online and get this game and that's it. So, but, um, there's also, um... Smurfs, um, I had that game when I was a kid. Me and my sister used to play that, play that game all the time. Um, uh, the Smurf, my mind's a total blank. I, I can't, I'm not going to spend the whole video thinking about it. That Smurfs tag along game. The Smurf, hold on a second. Alright, I just remember it before looking it up. The, the Smurfs Ahoy game. A buddy of mine, Matt, you know, uh, Matt's board game review. Watch his show too. He's got a cool show. How you doing, Matt? Uh, he's got the Smurfs Ahoy game. It's a game in which the balancing game, like topple. You know, you roll a die and then you gotta put a Smurf on the matching color or something like that on the on the on the boat. And the boat will rock because it'll wait. That you have from all the Smurfs being on one side of the boat or whatever. So you got to balance it out. And uh, if your Smurfs fall of the boat, then you lose or whatever. It's a cool game too. So I got this game, the uh, Smurf game. Which is, you know, it's the Smurf game too. But just a basic board game. And that's it. I got Smurf Spin Around coming up. Which is a card game that you got to match your cards. You know, try to get a whole match of all your card sets. And that's it. Then you win. But it's a cool game. I like this game. It's uh, a, a nice setup. It's like a mix between the Gumby board game that's three dimensional I have and uh, the other game I have, Star Wars um, uh, Ewok Save the Trees game. The three dimensional board game. Matt has that too. So, uh, but that that's basically it. You know, it's a cool, fun game. I like it a lot. I don't know how many times I'm going to say the same thing over and over and over again, but. That's it. So, that's the smart game. The big fun with your little blue pals in an exciting three-dimensional game. The board game. That's it for today. Everybody looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. Do over. It's just the, the smart game. I added on the 3D dimensional board game. That's it. It's the, the Smurf game. The 3D dimensional board game. That's it for today. Everybody looks at this game is over. Board game freak out. Boy, am I a freak. I just do it on purpose to be funny and silly. You know that, right? Okay. Good. You know that. Good. That's it for today. Everybody looks at this game is over. Board game freak out. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you, do you really think I just do this to be annoying? Don't, don't answer that. I left myself wide open with that one. All right, I'm going to make myself a snack and upload this video. <laughs> All right. That's it for three brothers. It's a game of summer board game freak out. I, I, I got to do it. And away I go. 